It was a bad day 70 million years ago for this Triceratops. Its remains are displayed beneath a fossilized Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton, posed as if it were still alive and ready for dinner. We now know dinosaurs to be uh, very uh, lively animals. They were fast growing. We know that birds descended from dinosaurs. Many dinosaurs that you see in a museum didn't necessarily live together. Each species lasted a million years or so, and then another species and another species. So um, many different dinosaur ecosystems in the world, just like there's many different ecosystems in the world today. The new Deep Time exhibit is all about ancient life on Earth and how its climate ecosystems and geology evolved over 3.7 billion years. A fossilized palm tree unearthed in the Arctic shows that area used to be tropical. The tiny ancestor of today's horses lived 52 million years ago. The ancient world was filled with reptiles, insects, and mollusks. We really explain and let you explore for yourself what the meaning is in something that might have happened 55 million years ago that tell us a lot about the impact we're having now. Because it's not just a past story, it's our story right now. The objects on display illustrate how much the Earth has changed, affected by shifts in climate. Scientists say 66 million years ago, the impact of a huge asteroid modified the environment so much that the dinosaurs and most other forms of life couldn't survive. But today, the exhibition points out, humans are the culprit that are causing devastating environmental problems. It's a scientific fact and there's evidence showing that we are having a, an impact on this planet that's unprecedented. It's unprecedented in the scale, it's unprecedented in the rate, and it's unprecedented that it's one singular species causing all of these changes. There's lots of very specific things you can do to ameliorate the impacts of climate change, to decrease climate change, to help preserve species and habitats. I mean, there's a lot of things in the world that are happening today that don't have to be happening. Star hopes visiting the exhibition will encourage people to act. I think we can really change the world with this exhibition. Um, and I know that sounds idealistic, but I think we can. And what I would really like is to see people getting connected to this story of the impact that we're having on the planet today, and to really wake up and see our impact and start making smart choices. Start looking at um, the things that people are doing around the world to direct our planet towards a hopeful, positive future. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.